Yeah, Deadpool trailer was good. Let's look at this cheese ball riot. The cheese ball man riot. Because apparently that was a pretty big thing today that I did not see. So what is this all about? Cheese ball man draws massive New York City crowd to watch him eat entire jumbo jar. The hero we needed. And apparently it caused a riot? Hundreds of astounded onlookers gathered in Manhattan's Union Square Park on Saturday to watch an anonymous 22-year-old man in an orange mask devour an entire jar of cheese balls. We're, I just want to see the video. Here we go. Wow, the quality on that is absolutely dog shit. Hold on. Okay, no, 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 good. Yeah, cheese ball man. Let's go. Man, he really did draw a huge crowd here. How did people even find out about it? Where did he advertise this? Feels like an NPC moment. Yeah, I'm just curious how everyone just found this. And it is a lot of cheese balls, to be fair. He put up flyers across the city. Oh, did he? So that's how we got everyone there. Nice, good for him. Love to see people doing something that they're passionate about. And that is a cool flag. No, I have never heard of the pest. Watch me eat this entire jar of cheese balls. That's pretty cool. That's also like the least grimy thing on this. This shit is fresh. Still haven't started X-Men 97, no. He did kind of clickbait them though. That is definitely a larger tub of cheese balls than the one he actually ate from. He, he kind of got them with the bait and switch. Do you think he practiced? Nah. I bet he went in cold. He probably didn't even stretch. When you're doing like a cheese ball thing, you, you can't really practice. You really only get one shot of it before you puke. How could it be a scam if they didn't want pay to watch it? I didn't call it a scam. I just said it was clickbait. You got him with the bait and switch. That's all. I mean, it's a victimless crime. People still got to see a man eat a lot of cheese balls. The gift sub Gretsch. Yeah, I saw another tech review killing another company. He's ruthless. Ruthless. The Rabbit R1, I think is right, right? The Rabbit R1, I think. He's done it again. Yeah, the Rabbit R1. Is that that stupid AI device I've seen on Twitter? It's an, it's basically the same thing as the Humane pin, but not wearable. And also, just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's just really fucking stupid. It's just really dumb. I like that he's dunking on companies a little more often now. It's not that he ever really refrained from it in the past, but I think he's branching out and just doing, like, dog shit. Well, actually, I think we're just seeing a lot more dog shit products. But he's also branching out into, like, Areas that are blatantly abused by bad actors. So like this whole AI gold rush. And this scramble to find the next iPhone to like with AI. I like that he's just immediately dunking on him. And before someone on Twitter cries about it again. It, that's inevitable. 
Uh, there will absolutely be another post about, like, this is so irresponsible, he sunk another company. But it's like, brother, just make a good product. <laughs> like, I mean, why, why are you getting mad at him for just saying it like it is? It's trash, and he's calling it trash. As he should. He also did a ruthless car review when the car manufacturer called angrily at the owner for letting him borrow the car. When was that? And yeah, I know. Well, I haven't talked about it, but I did look at it briefly about the Lost Medium song. Obi does a video, a second video on the Apple Vision. Those were an actual 3.5k beta testing made of cheap plastic. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he, he did do something on the Apple Vision, didn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, wait, yeah. Using Apple Vision Pro, what it's actually like. And this shit flopped. The product, not the video. The video clearly crushed it. But the product absolutely ate shit. I still remember people on Twitter were gassing it up, too. Yeah, this is it. Apple's done it again. Can't wait to get my hands on the Pro. Bunch of fucking brokies whining about it. Did it flop, though? Probably enough people bought it at that price point to make sense to Apple. No, brother, they, they literally, like, discontinued it. It flopped so fucking hard. At least I think they did. Unless I'm misremembering. Let me see. No, I guess they haven't discontinued it, but they, they, it looks like they slowed down the production because no one, there's no demand. So it looks like they've just really slowed everything down because they realized no one's buying it. I'm curious on this article, though. Do they have the numbers on how many sold? Let's see. How many Vision Pro headsets has Apple sold, and does it even matter? Apple Vision Pro headset production is reportedly being cut. Sales are reportedly way down. But, 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 wait. Wasn't the Vision Pro meant to change the world of VR, AR, ushering in a new era of spatial computing? Is the dream over? No. As Sam Rutherford laid out just before the weekend... Reports and rumors can't nail exact numbers based on financial figures from Apple's last earnings. Vision Pro sales likely equate to around 1% of the company's revenue. It's almost as if early Vision Pro sales numbers don't matter. Remember, the first iPhone wasn't great either. That was the whole article? I was hoping for a little more info. But, I, I mean, that's pretty fucking good, actually. Wonder why they're cutting back production so heavily, then. They're coping. Maybe it is cope. All I know is that two paragraphs here is a really fucking weak article. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I would like to know a little bit more about these numbers. And maybe Matt Smith just really likes Apple. I just don't see normal people demanding VR headset. Might as well use your phones. That was my big thing, especially at $3,500, that immediately pushes out your average consumer. Like, that's just for really pretentious people at that point. Like, I can't even see it really being used in a business setting either. I don't remember all the features it had, but, like, the things you would use it for, you could just do on your phone. Like, well, you don't really need spatial computing, you can just use other things. It's something about random staircases being in force and you walk up them and you just disappear or something. I've never even heard of those. Or are they forest staircases? Mysterious staircases in the forest? 